Today I'm going to show you how to set up the basics with Google VR SDK for Unity. Uh, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner I'm using version 1.1 here. So to get started uh, you go ahead and download the Google VR for Unity package from the, uh, the website. You can just go to developers.google.com uh, check out the documentation. They have uh, a couple different downloads for Android, the NDK, iOS, Unity, and Unreal. Uh, of course, we're using the Unity one. You can see all their features and everything, and then right here you can click Google VR SDK for Unity. So after you download the package and put it in your project, uh, you can just open it up. As you can see, I've already imported everything, so there's nothing to import. I just selected all, clicked OK, and imported it. And as you can see, it imported everything we need right here. Today we're just going to focus on the prefabs, which is going to be everything that's pre-set up by the Google VR package, and uh, basically get you started developing a VR application. So we have our main scene here. This is just a basic scene. We have a light camera and the event system in there. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this GVR viewer main, which is basically your virtual reality controller that Google has made. Drag that into the scene. You can see it just has two scripts on it, the GVR viewer and the pointer manager. The viewer is going to go ahead and create uh, all four cameras that we're going to need to render uh, this VR headset basically or viewport. So we can hit play and we'll take a look at that. You can see that it automatically grabs the main camera that's in this scene and adds a left and right camera with offsets based on eye orientation. This is basically set up for cardboard so you can mess around with these values. And under the GVR viewer main, you can also see the pre-render and the post-render cameras. These are going to be important when we go to add uh, camera effects in the future um, because we're going to be adding these to these effects to the post-render camera, um, mainly because this is the last thing that gets rendered out. So you can see if I turn pre-render off and then I turn, turn post-render off, we don't really have anything that renders out anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And you can see that the cameras are removed. So these are dynamic real-time basically rendering cameras, which from older versions of the Google SDK, you'll notice um, that these are rendered at build time and not before build time anymore. So I'm going to turn these on again and you see if you click or drag, you can't really do anything here. But if you hold down the option key and just move your mouse, we can start looking around at 360 degrees. Now I'll zoom in on the camera here so you can actually see the cameras that are rendered. You can see the different types of viewports that we have here. You can see left and right and then the main camera. And if you just mess with this, you're just going to see that it actually just looks around in 360 degrees. Okay, but there's something missing that you'll notice on cardboard, which is that little reticle that opens and closes when you're over a UI element. So let's go ahead and add that. You can see in the GVR viewer main, we already have that GVR pointer manager that's already set up. We just need to add a few things. So I'm going to go into their UI folder here. And you can see we have the controller pointer, which is going to be for daydream. And then we just have the reticle pointer, which is uh, basically just straight on the camera, almost like a ray cast. So I'm going to take this reticle pointer. We're if we just dropped it into this scene, it's just going to stay in one space. So what I want to do is I want to drag this onto the main camera. Because we want it linked to the main camera at all times. So now if I go ahead and hit play, you'll see that we have that little reticle out there.
Now there's a few other things we have to add to get this working. I'm going to go into my prefabs and I've already made a canvas, uh, world space canvas with a button in it. And on that button we've added a few colors just so we can see the different states. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And you can see our reticle is over it, but we can't do anything. And that's because we're missing a few things here. So I'm going to go to the event system. And this is just the basic event system that we have set up. And I'm going to add a component and I'm going to choose gaze input module. And I'm going to select VR mode only just because I just want this gaze input module to only activate during the VR mode. And in the canvas we're going to take this main camera and drag it in to make it our event camera. Now if we hit play, we should have the reticle opening and closing on the world space canvas. If we can click and you can see it's fairly accurate. And that's the basics of setting up the Google VR SDK. Fairly simple and getting the reticle with a action in there. Thanks.